Concussions can not only occur when you're playing football or hockey. When you have a, uh, a hit or a blow uh, to the head, there's several um, processes that uh, occur. And, and these lead to uh, brain uh, cell death and also swelling of the brain. There are enzymes that are involved in these processes and we have uh, developed inhibitors that prevent these processes. So the, these uh, compounds rescue the brain cells that are destined to die. And if you can imagine, if you have less damage uh, in your brain, that the recovery prospect is much uh, better. And so we have now compounds that are water soluble. They can be given intravenously. This is the preferred route of administration because if you have a concussion, the uh, person may not be conscious and so cannot swallow a pill. So we need something that can be given um, intravenously. If you look at the actual number of concussions, it's estimated that it's uh, 1.7 million concussions. So uh, this could be from not just uh, football, it could be other sports like hockey, snowboarding or skiing. It could also be just trauma from an accident or also when people fall down, if they hit their heads, it can cause a concussion.